I want to make a part two for the video for those who can't stop masturbating or having sex. The reason why, let me say this. Once you repent of your sins by saying, God, please forgive me of all my sins, you now are a servant of God. You are saved. Does that make any sense? So once you are saved, now you have authority to command demons. As I stated in my earlier video. So you can tell the demons to leave now. Go. Go to the pit. So on and so on. Makes sense, right? I really hope so. Now, some people may think that all they have to do is command the demons only one time and they are never going to come back. That is not true. That is not true. Either the same demons or different demons are going to come to you. Maybe more than one time each day. So what I am trying to say, do it as many times as possible. Command the demons to leave every single day each hour if you have to. Even if you have to tell the demons to leave one million times a day, so be it. What we have to understand is that we are in a spiritual war. We are at war. We are at war with demons. We have to understand that. If we think that what we see is all there is, you are mistaken until God opens your eyes. I am not going to say that God has my eyes wide open, but I have seen some things. Not too much, but some things. Crazy stuff really really crazy so I really hope this makes sense command the demons for instance let's say at 1 p.m. I start to feel aroused demons leave now I bind and cast you out now okay now I am not feeling aroused now. 5 a.m. or 5 p.m. I start to feel aroused again. Demons, I bind and cast you out now. Leave now. Okay, now I am not aroused now. 10 p.m. I start to feel aroused again. Demons, I bind and cast you out now. Leave now. Now, I am not aroused now. Does that make any sense? Say it as many times as possible. As you have to. Once the feeling of arousal leaves, then you can stop saying it. So, at 1 p.m., if you have to say demons leave now, demons leave now, demons leave now, until that feeling of arousal leaves, so be it. Then at 5, then at 10. Whenever they come, they have to leave. If you are repentant of your sins, they have to go. Why? Because Jesus gave you the authority over demons when... You repent of your sins and follow the rules and regulations of the Bible. They have to go. They can't stay. Or either just give in to those feelings. <laughs> you 
if you give in to those feelings, if you die in sin, where are you going? You can't go to heaven. Think about it. A person that gives in to lust gets to go to heaven. A person who has lustful thoughts gets to go to a holy place like heaven. Are you serious? You think about having sex with people, whether men or women, and you think that you are going to heaven when you die. No. No. So keep this in mind. Lust demons leave now. All demons leave now. In the name of Jesus. All you have to say. Every demon that is around me, at my home, at my job, leave now in the name of Jesus. That's it. No special words. Command them to leave. No certain way to say it. All you have to do is trust in your words and repent of your sins. Not trust in your words, but trust that Jesus is going to, no, have faith in God, repent of your sins, and command the demons to leave. That's it. What do I mean by faith? Have trust in God. Believe that he has given you authority over demons when you have repented of your sins. By saying, God, please forgive me of all my sins. Once you do that, you are saved. Now you have authority over demons. That simple. That simple. So we don't have to give in to lust. We don't. It is a choice. Well, Kevin, you know, I am very young and I need to do this. So when I get older, you know, I won't do it anymore. <laughs> how do you know how much time you have on earth? How do you know that you won't die in the next two years or so? Our time on earth is not promised, so we have to change now. I don't know when I am going to die. You don't know when you are going to die. We don't. So why play around? Well, I will repent of my sins once I get older. You can die young. You can die young. How many people has died young? So many. No point in gambling with your life. No point. What is the point? What do you gain? Having sex? Money? Drugs? Alcohol? So you are willing to sacrifice your life for petty things. Sacrifice your soul, your eternal soul, for petty things. So foolish. I was foolish too. So I am pointing the finger at myself. Very foolish. Thank God he thank God he gave me time. Gave me so much time. Okay. God bless.